Acorn worms are marine bottom-dwelling worms that are part of a phylum of animals known as hemichordates. There are around 100 described species. Many species are found in shallow waters, but they are also present in the deep sea. Compared to other marine worms, acorn worms are highly specialized and evolutionarily advanced. For example, their gill-like structures are similar to the gills of primitive fish. As a consequence, acorn worms have been the focus of many molecular and genetic studies to investigate the evolutionary pathway from invertebrate to vertebrate structures. Acorn worms live a solitary existence and have soft, fragile bodies composed of three sections. There is the proboscis, then the collar, which contains the mouth, Lastly, the long trunk, which bears a row of gill pores. Most species can regenerate at least part of their trunk. The body contains a hollow nerve cord. Acorn worms do not develop a distinct brain. They instead have nerve cells all over the proboscis and the collar. Because of their soft bodies, it is almost impossible to collect specimens completely intact. In shallow waters, some species live under shells and stones. Others live in U-shaped burrows in the sediment. Acorn worms burrow into the seabed with their muscular proboscis. Burrowing worms can consume sediment, from which they extract nutrients. One opening of the burrow allows water to enter, while the other allows for removal of waste. Sediment waste that has been excreted accumulates around the burrow in a coiled pile. Some species reach around the top of their burrows and collect food that gets stuck in the sticky mucus on their proboscis. Some species line the burrow with mucus to which food and sediment stick. Cilia that cover the worm's body transport food to its mouth. Acorn worms in deep sea environments are thought to move across the seafloor ingesting the surface layers of the sediments with little or no selectivity in order to feed on bacteria, microscopic algae, and nutrients that have accumulated in the sediments. They leave behind trails of waste. The feeding habits of acorn worms are thought to contribute to nutrient cycling. In typical hemichordate reproduction, eggs and sperm are discharged through pores and fertilized in the water. Most acorn worms have a free-living planktonic larval stage. Larvae swim and feed using bands of cilia. Others bypass the larval stage and develop directly from egg to young worm. Adults vary in size by species from less than an inch to around 8 feet long. Deep sea acorn worms are usually much larger than shallow water acorn worms. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.